what the best thing about manatees are? Come on, just look at them. Graceful and cuddly. They are the cows of the sea, or more commonly known as sea cows. But these wonderful creatures are facing a great threat, extinction. The three species of manatee can be found as far south as Central and South America, but the majority are situated around Florida. Despite their nickname, manatees aren't related to cows. They are actually genetically closer to another four-legged giant that lives on land. Can you guess which animal? I'll give you a moment to think on it. In recent years, this aquatic mammal that never touches land has been hit with tough times. So what's causing manatees to go extinct? Problem one, manatees love to eat a lot. They graze on seagrass to their heart's content, but seagrass needs special conditions to thrive. This includes warm, shallow water and a lot of sunlight. Prime locations for seagrass to grow means the manatee's food supply is running out. Pollution from chemicals which are dumped into the water, waste from sewers and septic tanks, and even toxic fertilizers getting into the water are all causing the seagrass to die off. And speaking of warm water, the manatees need it too, just as much as the seagrass. Interestingly, manatees have very little body fat. Most of the heft you see is made up of their intestines and stomach. This lack of body fat is a big problem in cold waters, as manatees can't regulate their body temperatures. This can be lethal. So, okay, we've talked about pollution and the decreasing habitats of manatees. But as those habitats disappear, the higher the risk becomes for humans and manatees to cross paths. And not in a good way. Boat collisions are considered to be the greatest long-term threat to their population numbers. But as always, there are people out there trying to help. Wildlife experts and conservationists are campaigning for better protection for the manatees and their habitat. Right now, Florida manatees are the hardest hit, with over a thousand deaths recorded in 2021. Injured manatees are rescued in some instances, but can take weeks or even months to recover before being released back into the wild. And if you live in areas where manatees can be found, doing simple things like always disposing of your trash carefully and following boat regulations is just as important. If you want to be proactive, you can even join beach and shoreline cleanup events. So as the saying goes, every little bit helps. So now you know why manatees are going extinct. But why is it so important to make sure we keep them around? It all comes down to their eating. Remember I said they eat a lot? Well, I wasn't exaggerating. Manatees can eat 10% of their body weight daily. An average size manatee weighing 450 kilograms needs 45 kilograms of seagrass per day. It brings a whole new meaning to being vegetarian. And somewhere a manatee is doing a video about my eating habits. This voracious appetite isn't just manatees being greedy. They're actually helping their ecosystems function to their best and stay healthy. By eating so much seagrass, they prevent vegetation in their habitat from overgrowing and crucially stop any invasive species like water hyacinth from joining the ecosystem. But why are manatees nicknamed sea cows? If it wasn't already obvious, they like grazing on grass albeit the aquatic kind, and they kind of look like cows, I guess, in a weird sort of, you know, not at all kind of way. Now going back to the earlier question about which manatees are most closely related to. If you said the elephant, well, congratulations. Clues in their anatomy show similar teeth structures and toenails. Both mammals also use their lips to make chewing easier. That's funny, so do I. If we go back a few million years, Elephants and manatees shared a common ancestor called Tethotheria. They, just like countless related animals, took very different paths through their evolutionary history. And what's resulted is the graceful and rather important manatee. Since you're here, why not check out another episode about the top five crazy creatures in the world? They can eat a lot of seagrass, but are going extinct. That's what manatees do. And that's what makes them 
crazy creatures. 